Well, here we are in our opulent backyard. We've got a DJI Inspire One drone. And before we take off, let's uh, explain what some of this stuff is. What are we looking at here? So this is one of the most advanced drones in the market right now. Um, it has GPS satellites. It has uh, about a two and a half mile range. Um, it has a built-in camera that can shoot up to 4K. Um, it, it's incredible. The, the new camera they just came out with for this actually has a micro four-thirds sensor, so you can put your own lenses on it. It's, it's really one of the most sophisticated drones on the market. Well, let's look at the components. Mm -hmm. I noticed it's got four propellers. I've seen drones with as many as eight. Mm -hmm. What determines the number of propellers, and are there something? And are the propellers replaceable if one breaks? Yeah, the propellers on this are plastic. They come in either plastic or, or carbon fiber if you have uh, custom-made ones. The reason that this only has four is because it has a smaller payload. It's made to be more compact. Um, they have larger ones that are, you know, either six or eight propellers. that are probably about twice the size of this. Um, they can carry up to a RED or a DSLR. A lot of them carry DSLRs. Um, but this just doesn't, it doesn't need eight, you know, too What's much. What's the central housing here? Central housing here, it holds the battery in the back. Um, and then the rest of this is just mechanics and for structural integrity. And I also noticed the legs lift up and down. We'll see that mm -hmm. in just a minute. How about the camera and the gimbal? What's happening under there? So with this camera, it's on a three-axis gimbal. It'll keep it steady like this, no matter where you're moving. With a second operator and another controller, what you can do is you can have a second operator controlling the camera to move full 360 all the way around. Um, it tilts up and down, sideways like that also. So if you wanted for a cool effect, you have a locked off version where it'll stay perfectly straight and with the telemetry of the drone. So if you turn, it turns and it looks like you're flying a plane, um, which is just, a, it's a neat effect that works every once in a while, but you know, typically for everything I do, I keep it unlocked so it is just as steady as it can be. Well, we've seen the drone. What I want to see is what are you wearing around your neck? And to solve that, let me just put the drone on the ground. Totally fine. And put that here. So what do we have here? So this is the DJI controller. Uh, it, it connects as a monitor through the DJI Go app. When you open it up, it has a lot of really important information on um, not only about the actual drone itself and the camera, but it has really good safety tutorials on there. Um, that's really important to read if you're a first time um, pilot. Um, you can also do a flight simulation um, through the app where instead of actually flying your drone, if you want to get comfortable with the controls, you can actually through the app do flight simulation. What about the section below it? What are the controllers below the app? Yeah, so the controls below it, you've got a, a very simple power button um, and DJI is, is very intelligent with their their battery, so you can't just press it once and it turns on. You press it once and then you press and hold it and it'll turn everything on. Um, you've got your controls, which are very simple. They're both, you know, eight, eight directional controllers. You can go either direction, uh, one control your height and um, the direction that it turns, your yaw is what it's called. And then the other is just basic forward, backwards, left and right. Um, it, this is your, uh, your home button. So if you're ever you know, out of sight of your drone, it's very important to keep a line of sight with the drone. Uh, it's part of your FAA regulations on learning how to fly. You press the home button and it will come back to you and land itself. And if it's close enough and you see your line of sight, you can actually cancel it in the app and um, regain control over it. Um, on the back side of this, I'll turn around so you can see, you have your controls um, are, are sent with two really strong antennas. Um, you have a record button, uh, a couple little switches and buttons that do random things. This will control the tilt of the gimbal, so it'll point the camera up or down. Um, and then on the bottom here, you have USB, uh, another USB. This is actually an HDMI port, so you can do HDMI out to a monitor. Um, so you can bring a 50-inch 4K TV with you to a set. Okay, well, let's turn the power off. Okay and have you put this back on again, and I'll put the drone back up. So let's turn the power on, and let's get this ready to fly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing as we did on the controller. You're gonna press the power button once, and then press and hold it, and then I'll turn it on, and I'm going to start searching for satellites, uh, and running through its system check, making sure the gimbal is calibrated, compass is calibrated, and all that, so here we go.
So let's get this ready to take off. I'm going to pick it up and move it over to here, give ourselves a safe position to be in. There you go. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at owning and flying a drone. For the complete version of this webinar, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 189. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.